Uh uh, what video is this? Is this PWA? Oh. I thought this was uh, I thought this was PWA. Let me say, hold up, little Casey. These niggas ask for the shit. Straight from the motherfucking streets. Salute to the OGs. Oh, we live? Hold up. I say all my teeth straight, then I never wore braces. I never tripped over my shoelaces. I don't give a fuck, but I be steady pacing. All the boys want me like I'm speed day in my mind on the a hundred dollar bills. You gotta admit, homegirl got skills. I'm just trying to put down for all my family's kids. I'm just trying to do some shit nobody ever did. I be doing all the shit they tell me not to do. I gotta accept the fact I got loose screws. You gotta accept the fact my music shot the screw. My whole team full, sorry we don't have room. I brought my whole team home and told them go and pick rooms. Look at all of this bloom, this lip flower and bloomed. I done made a mess and I don't even own the broom. I I'm so watching league, might not catch me in your zoo. Sometimes I don't even know what the fuck I be doing. Addicted to the way that I do the shit when I do it. What is it about me that make these hoes panic? Is it cause my presence is fucking outstanding? Is it cause my voice is so damn demanding? Is it the way I handle my shit when I be handling it? I just be doing my thing and they can't handle it. I tell you in my nice voice where you can have a sit. All you get is fire, you get what you get. I could do the most and you you ain't gon' do shit. I walk around in shoes you can't even fit. Motherfuckers. I'm like the shit you're probably never gonna fucking get. <laughs> Shout out to my dogs, all my cousins, Crips. Shout out to everybody left standing here. I be in my own lane, steady switching gears. Look me dead in the eyes and you won't see feel. I'm about to go hunting, but I don't mean deer. Got a ticket for not wearing my seatbelt. I stuck my foot in the water to get my feet wet. I did some shit that Ripley still can't believe yet. I done said a lot of shit you probably won't forget. I got magic, I got tricks up my sleeve. I could tell by your eyes you ain't seen what I seen. I could tell how you sleep. You don't dream like I dream. You don't have what it takes to have everything. Hold on, I just went shopping and I'm feeling kind of vain. I laid down the track and started the damn track. I'm out of the left side of my damn brain. Minutes to society, I'm talking cocaine. Me and Ace Boogie out here trying to get paid. Uh. Two gold watches, ten gold rings. Uh. Blink eyes, fuck around and miss everything. Swinging in the rain and candy paint, leave a stain. The first time I gripped wood, I had to grip grain. The first time I seen a shark, I was swimming in the tank. Laughing all the way to the goddamn bank. Yes, I'm the girl who think her shit don't stink. Uh. I just had to do it one time for the fucking H. And if you gon' fucking hate, stay the fuck out my face. Uh. Here's the fucking Texas on my motherfucking place. Man. I just touched down, but right now I'm about to skate. Uh. Don't make me have your people find you floating in the lake. Don't make me have to put you back in your fucking place. Uh. Okay. Hey, man, we live, yeah. we live, we live. We got... KC <laughs> in the motherfucking building. Yeah. Hey. Let me say this. This is the award winning, underground award winning <laughs> for female artists of the year. Talk to him, KC. Hey, y'all. Thank you so much for having me pop up CV. This has hey. been such a dope experience. You know, I was supposed to have been up in here, but you uh, know, uh, we good whenever, you know what I'm saying, we can get uh, in. Really, uh, really. <laughs> But no, for real, thank you so much for having me huh. on tonight. Let me ask you this, man. How did it feel when they said in the winter years, and you, they said your name, and what, what feeling happened, man? How did you feel? I was, I felt very, very, very happy. Yeah. I was happy. Right. Right, right, because, right. you know, I was already happy, you know what I'm saying? It's one thing to get a nomination. It's one thing, when somebody nominates you for something, that means they recognize, you know what I'm saying, they see you, they recognize mm -hmm. you, they feel like, man, you're doing good enough so I could put you in a category with some other people that are doing well. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, wow, I've been nominated. I mean, I know how hard I work. I feel like I have a good product, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's just for, you know, when it's somebody else coming back and they telling you, man, you're great. Right. You know, right. you're great. We just love to you. Hear, yeah. Just to hear that you, the work you put in. Yeah. We notice that work. We yes. appreciate that work. Yes. Man. And then, you know, Critical has told me, you know, we got this app. So, you know, it's going to be based on 
real votes. Yeah. This is not nothing that, you know, yeah. this is like a people's choice type of thing. Right, this right. is like not nothing that, you know, we gave you the nomination, but mm. this is not an award that's necessarily given. Right. This is something, you know, tell your people to, you know, they can vote here, you know, the people that want to see you win, basically. Right. We're going to tell everybody, so, you know. Yeah, ain't no rigged here. Everything yeah, it's, it's, it's not it, it rigged. votes. So it's, that made it even more, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Official. That made it even more official, yeah, yeah, and it made it even more personal because I got to really see where I stand with my followers. Mm -hmm. And I got to see where I stand with my supporters. Right. So it was like, you know, I had people calling me like, this app is, I don't like this app. I'm trying to vote for you. And I'm like, y'all, look, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Nothing about that. Like, I'm not in charge of none of this stuff, so it's not like I can go fix it. I was like, I can, you know, I could sell him. Right. So I hit him up a couple of times, like, bro, they say the app not working. He was like, yeah, that's because there's so many people voting. Come to find out, it was like 3,700 votes. So he had like so three three thousand. This ain't no fluke votes. These no. multiple, multiple. These are multiple votes. Yeah, these numbers. He said he was keeping the tally. He said the reason why the app kept glitching because you know he had the voting open from the voting was only open from eight to nine right you know monday through friday but he was like the reason why it kept glitching he didn't have no bullshit ass motherfuckers on that list right no 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 hell no no nah. nah, he had the hard he, he had the mother he had the right motherfuckers he the had the the, he you can tell he been out here yeah because he had the people that's actually working look i see these people when i'm out working right, right. i see these people right i i know these people yeah. these people know me right so he had the he had people out there and then when i looked at the the female category i'm like man that motherfucker long as a motherfucker i'm like Shit! <laughs> I'm just like, to be shit. nominated in that category. Just to be was, nominated was, and to look at the people yeah. that was, you know, look to look at the people's names that were surrounding my name. Mm -hmm. These ain't no, these ain't no bullshit right. ass people. These are some. They got some people on there that I look up to. You know what I'm saying? They got some people on there that I just admire. Some people on there making bigger, more right. gigantic moves than me. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the underground is. You can make a lot of moves through a major. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That don't mean that love yeah. from the underground. This, this street stuff? Yeah. Hey, man, it's this underground. Whole this whole, and yeah. you know what? I, pretty much all the stuff, I didn't even realize it because I don't ever really just take time to just sit down and think about all the right. stuff that I've done. But I really cater. Right. I really cater to the underground. Like, it was my, it's my love. Like. Right. It's a whole, people don't understand, it's like the mainstream, but then you have the underground. The underground does exist. Yeah. The underground is live. This is where you got to start it. The underground is live. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like to to be nominated, like I say, it was awesome. But then when they said my name and then this roar of applause, because yeah. it wasn't just three people in no. that building. No. That building was... Yeah. The building right. was packed out, right. so to you, for you to be all the way at the front, and I'm all the way in the back, and I'm talking about everybody looking at me, yeah. everybody looking at yeah. me, all the cameras pointed yeah. towards me. Right. After you done just said female artist of the year, right. you say my name, right. and you waiting on me to walk up here. I gotta walk past all these people to come get. Yeah. To the come energy, get this. I know you felt the energy. Everybody just even in that funny. video, but even it's like even in that video. Hey y'all, even in that video, you captured some stuff. Like when I got up, it was people like reaching for me. Right. It was right. people reaching for me. I'm looking at everything when I'm looking at this video. I'm looking at myself. I'm looking at the people that's like reaching for me. I'm seeing the people that it's people on there that. They reaching for a hug. Like, I done hugged some of my homeboys. It's two guys meet me at two of my other homeboys that's in the music business like that I've been knowing for so long. Right. They reaching up to help pull me up on the stage. Right. Like, yeah. we helping you. Like, come yeah. get your shit. Yeah. Like, and I'm just yeah. like. You earned this. I'm watching. I'm hearing. Yeah. Your microphone's good. Yeah. Oh, your microphone's yeah. good. Yeah. I'm hearing people. In the background. I'm hearing yes. what they saying. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing the applause. I'm hearing the lady with the microphone. I'm like, I'm watching this, and I'm just like, wow, right. wow. Yeah. 
The city loved you. They loved me. Yeah. And I appreciate it. They showed you that night. And they, yeah, they definitely, they definitely showed me, and Mm -hmm. I definitely felt it. Right. I definitely felt it. And it was like, dang, did this stuff happen? It happened. Right. And then after I got off the stage, boom, (laughs) lights right back. Hey, what you gotta say? I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm hugging. I'm, I'm this, I'm that. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is everything. This moment right here is everything. And then I'm talking about it totally took my mind off the other category. For real? Yeah. It totally took my mind off the other category. I mean, I got the nominations, then I had this trophy. I'm all outside. That's why some some pictures, you see me outside with one trophy. Like, I'm like, hold on, I got to go give me some pictures. They say song of the year. And they say my baby. My baby. Stoney. Stoney is my baby. I've been pushing Stoney. I've been, Stoney had an anniversary. It was, I've been pushing that song for one year because I dropped it on 420 a year ago. Right. Was, it's coming up on two years. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? We had like 51,000 views or something like that. But, right. you know, and them, them organic. Organic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you talking about my song that I love, you know, that I've been pushing and that all these people, you know, they love it. Yeah. We'd have been number one on Atlanta hit makers and all kind of stuff. So it's just like oh, you, really you say my song. Yeah, you got. I'm telling you that right there, right now. Put that effort behind that. Yeah. Put that effort behind that. That right there is gonna catch. What you so talking hard. about, Stony? Yes, please. And it's crazy. You we got Stony. But then my fans and my supporters, they begging me for music, begging me for music. Yeah. That's how we get on mad. Yeah. That's how we get on mad. Yeah. People going mad for mad. Yeah. They're going freaking ape shit. Yeah. So now it's like I got these two. Because when I went and did the show last night, they was like, look. This motherfucking song that you just did, yeah. that last song you just did, Mad, yeah. Yeah. that motherfucker needs to be in every DJ motherfucking computers. These is tastemakers saying this. This right. OG Run C saying right. this. This all on the run views. Like these, they said this needs to be on in every DJ computer. Right now. Home girl. Right now. Right now. Yeah. Carl Crawford, he like, hey. Yeah, you, you need yeah. to run with that hoe. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas say, you got a wave. He told me, it seems like you creating a wave with that. He told me, it's time to go ahead and ride that. I'm like, I'm listening to this. And like you said, these are the tastemakers telling taste you this. Tastemakers. So tastemakers. This yeah. ain't no fluke. No. This the real No, thing. these are people that have put other people right, into right. the positions that I'm trying to Correct. be. You know what I'm saying? These are people mm-hmm. that took... Records like the ones that I have right. and yeah. did what they I would like it. for them to yeah. do. Yeah. And they yeah. telling me, girl, you have hit records. Right. What one of the guy uh what's his name? Um um was it DJ DJ Flash? DJ mm-hmm. DJ is it Flash? He told me, um he said, Girl, you keep writing hit songs like that, you gonna be good. He was like, Those are hits. Right. I was like, hits? You know how many people just performed before me? A lot of them. Yeah. And I was the only girl, too. Right. But a lot of them had just performed right. in front of this same group of people. It's a lot of people make music, but it don't be hits. It's music. Yeah. A lot of them, make, so- a lot of them make songs yeah. and music, yeah, yeah but they're not but hits. It's, it's These it's people record, told me, they told me last night, yeah. I made... Those songs that I performed, they say those are hit records. Those songs would go crazy. I went there by myself, right? So when I got to performing um, the last song, I got to the hook again. You know, I was like, I saw these hoes make me make me laugh. I make them mad. And I'm talking about, I thought I was in one of the local hood spots again because the crowd was like, mad. And they was like, so fucking mad. I was like. I know that that gave you a feeling right there. When I did that, they was, (laughs) I kind of like jumped back because I'm giving it to them. 
but they gave it right back. And I was like, hold up. Yeah. Yeah. And I just said it. I'm like, y'all fucking with that? That was hell, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I came in that bitch by myself. Mm -hmm. I ain't called nobody. It was like some last minute shit. Mm -hmm. I was like, damn, I ain't even got time to get the game together. Right. You know what? I might, I might just wait till next week to go do it. And then I'm right. like, ah, you know right. what? I'm off tomorrow. Fuck it. Right. Fuck it. See, you needed to see that. You needed to see how you could hold it down with just your own prisons in there. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That's very, very powerful. Right. Right. That's that's pretty powerful. Yeah. yeah it is. I yeah. Because it's and easy I didn't, for... I didn't mention none of the stuff that just happened. Right. The days before, the day before, I didn't mention none I of that. I bet you they knew. I bet you they I knew. I mean, they just gonna have to follow me because it's right. like this is a whole nother day. Yeah. I'm on to so. Hey, I still have to get it. What a lot of people don't even understand or realize that, yeah, you reached a milestone. Mm -hmm. It's still work to be done. Without a doubt. It's not even. It's not time for you to chill yet. Mm -hmm. It's not time to chill. Right now is the time for you to. Really just put it all the way out there. Right now? Yeah. It's, it's that time. Man, so man. when a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, they, they sit on it. They be like, oh, well, I did this. And, and you know, it's, it's not a shot against anybody. You know, what, whatever your goal is, is your goal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I know what my ultimate goal is. I'm trying to knock it out the park. Huh. Doing yeah, it. I'm trying to knock it out you the park. You and doing it. When, to be on stage by myself, my phone was on like 5%. Like... Right. <laughs> I couldn't even, you know what I'm saying, reach the team or nothing like that. Right. So it was just like, ah, shit, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Let me, this is what I love to do. Right. I love to do this. Right. They're like, man, when you're on stage, we could, you love what you're doing, don't you? Yeah. They can see you. I do. They can see you. I do. They're like, you hungry. Yeah. Like, where your people? Oh, it's just me tonight. Yeah. Yeah. they like, but... I'm talking about across the whole board, though. Yeah. It's they critiquing you. So when you ever in a situation where you get critiqued, you know you always gotta have your mind ready for it. It could be negative yeah, feedback. Way, you know way. what I'm saying? And negative feedback isn't necessarily negative. Mm -hmm. It's something for you to take. Constructive. It's constructive, right, right, right. right. And right. by constructive, that means you take it. For what it is. Mm -hmm. Don't take it as no, oh, this is a shot against me. Right. This is, oh, they don't fuck with me. Right. No, for somebody to tell you that you're not all the way perfect or you're not all the way right, that's really way better than somebody telling you, oh, you're doing a great yeah, job and you're yeah. doing a shitty ass job. Right, right. It's really better for somebody to really just give you the that's truth. So I'm saying. When you went on that stage by yourself, you yeah. needed that. Yeah. Because you always going to have your posse. They always yeah. going yeah. to tell you one thing. Yeah, It's for always sure. going to be... One hundred, mm -hmm. no matter what you do, you for can sure. bust your ass on the stage. Baby, yeah. you, you were live on that. You was time. live. That's your but people. When you get exactly mm -hmm. when you by yourself, mm -hmm. and you go up there and represent, and people from around you tell you the same shit. Yeah, you the shit, you the shit. Without even no questions about it. <laughs> yeah, you the shit. Live like that. Yeah, live like that. You you know what I'm saying? Go out there, be bold on their ass, because that's how your music is. A motherfucker hear your music. They should know when you walk in the door. Hey, there go a star right there. Look how she walking in this motherfucker. Yeah. Head up high. You know what I'm saying? I know she finna kill this shit. That's how and you And then they was like, they was like, because they was like, they paying attention to everybody. I'm not no just, like, I support other mm -hmm. artists. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't just sitting there like bored while other artists like i'm engaging with the other artists right. you know you get off the stage i'm gonna dap you up hey what's your information you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying mm -hmm. you know you somebody you just like me right. you're an artist you know i got my cars i keep them on deck you know what i'm saying so i'm i'm making sure as soon as i get out you know i'm making sure you know everybody you mm -hmm. know i'm trying to touch the people you know i'm right. i see you just like, I know how it make me feel when somebody tell me they see me. Right. So I see you, great job, you know, because mm -hmm. a lot of people say, you know, it takes courage to get up there and do what y'all yeah. are doing. And it really freaking does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Getting on stage in front of a whole lot of people is not the easiest thing uh, to do. I knew a guy, a white guy, he could wrap his ass out. Yeah. What well, about that performance? He not perform. Yeah. We even sent him to somebody to help him with his stage performance. Yeah. He could not perform. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? So it take a whole different type. It take yeah. a type of it's like two different. To be a rapper, yeah, mm -hmm. but it take a different type of beast to be an entertainer. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Tell me about that heathen life. Heathen life. Shout out to the gang. Heathen life. Well, this is this is heathen life apparel. You know, mm -hmm. I have my own merch. But, you know, this come from, I also have my own record label. Mm -hmm. Heathen Life Music Group is not just something that I'm just wearing, you know. Right. It belongs to it. Yeah. It belongs yeah. to me, you know All what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah. Um, it's a record label. Me, my husband, my brother, you know, we put a lot of money. We put a lot of time right. into what we do. We've been putting a lot, just a lot into it, period. And, you know. A lot of the times, people, you know, they so they so busy trying to be attached to what somebody else have going on mm -hmm. that they never really sit there and think, you know, how did those people get into those positions, or right. how did they how did they actually make that happen? So, you know, you see all these people with these different things. I've never been the type of person that wanted to like leech off of somebody right. else or somebody that wanted mm -hmm. to like. Oh, I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna use you for everything you got. That's just not me. Right. That's not me. So when it comes to my stuff or my name or my brands or my songs or whatever, I wanna. And it came with it. It wasn't always like this because I didn't even have the knowledge of this stuff. Right. You know, like when you first start off, you think that's what you're supposed to do. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But. It just came with, I guess, age and getting older and right. getting better and spending more money. Like, right. this is, we moving as a company. Mm -hmm. This is a company. Right. It's a business, man. This is a business. The music business. Hello. Yeah, for real. For real. We need to make this official. We made it official. Boom. We got our own independent record label. We ha I, I have that. That's mm -hmm. something that I have, you know what I'm saying? In a minute, when we get to where, you know what I'm saying, we're trying to be, I'm going to be able to bring whoever I want. Correct. Not as a middleman, mm -hmm. as the top. Boss. Yeah. Boss. Whoever yeah. I want. Yeah. I so, you, you know, I, I, I try to be very careful. And I try to treat everybody with respect. I try to be nice with everybody. How you treat me in return is really on you. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I ha we have that, and from there... You know, um, I used to always see, I used to always see artists with their merchandise. Right. I remember one time I was gifted. I was a part of a group with my cousins and stuff. Oh, for the action. Yeah. I think I remember you with some people. Some dudes. No, I thought I seen you with some females. You probably seen me with some, I was in a couple of groups. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I was. I came, I, it was a light-skinned sister. Okay. And... I think uh old girl to be dancing. Was y'all in the group together? Oh, they was in their own group. Oh, I think okay. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They was in their own group. group. Nah, I was okay. alongside right. them though. Right. We right. was we was right. in the hood. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. Right. Yeah, but I was in a couple of groups. But going back to I was in a guy group with my cousins and they had brought me a shirt. I'm talking about this was like ten this was like a couple of years ago, they brought me a shirt. Right. They're like, you remember? Like, you remember? They brought me this shirt. I'm like, oh my God, I right. love this shirt. Right. This right. is my shirt. It's yeah. one damn shirt. Like, yeah. yeah, but it's the fact that this shirt right here. <laughs> they have my name on the back. I'm right. like, this is my motherfucking shirt. This is my motherfucking click. Like, yeah. I'm yeah. like, man, yeah. this shit lit. I'm lit. Yeah. I'm like, man, I felt so, like, I was in love with that shirt. And I'm like, man, I need merch. Right. I need merch, and then well, now I started I started like getting stuff made. I started getting stuff customized, and when I would go out, you know, I like to I, I care about how I look right, when right. I go out. Right. So I have it on; it look real nice. Mm -hmm. So other people they like. Yeah, I wonder if it's gonna look like that on me. No, it's like the people, yeah. even the people that was like in the inner circle, they like, man, what's up? Where yeah. mine at? Like. <laughs> Oh, so that's, that's how you I started. It's popping. Yeah, that's how I started. They're yeah. like, man, what's up with my right, shit at? Right, so, right. okay, got to make sure the game right, tight. Right. And then people seeing the game got, and they like, what well, goddamn? Yeah. <laughs> they like, what well, goddamn? Where our shit at? Right. I'm like, man, these people. I'm like, man, here we go again. Another mm -hmm. executive decision. 
This shit costing me some money. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna come back though. This shit costing me some money. So you know, I'm pretty good with my hands. I'm really a creative. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know, I I, I start. I'm gonna always tell you my finances. Tell you my finances. I went and bought my own equipment. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. I remember back when uh, they had Gucci. Mm-hmm. And they started putting like the big lips on shit. Mm -hmm. And black people started. Like, mm -hmm. started like, what the fuck is that? Like, yeah. And then somebody else did some bullshit. Yeah. Another label. And they was like going against that type of right. shit. Right. Yeah. So around that time is when black folks really started saying. Doing their own shit. Man. They, uh, this is the culture. Yes. This is the culture. I don't even have to mention any of this, our culture. Mm -hmm. Is the culture. Correct. Well, people do stuff. They, they, you know what I'm saying? They make it to where we could be the consumer. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, it's the stuff that we like. Yeah. yeah. So, Whatever we like, they gonna like regardless. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They like what we, we like. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. I, I noticed that too. Yeah. And I just so happened to join that field. Man. They fucked up and had this. See, God, God is a comedian. God is funny, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we don't get the jokes, mm -hmm. but they'll wake people up. Mm -hmm. See, we had the corona. The co uh, That's supposed to shut down everything. But at the same time, we had a damn fool as a president. Mm -hmm. and, like, they started giving away money mm -hmm. to everybody. You ain't got nothing to do. Hey, yeah. Don't yeah. go there. Yeah. So but it's all what as, you do with us it. Us as black yeah. folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hello, you give me we an opportunity. We survivors. Yeah, you give me an opportunity yeah. whether you know this or not. We survivors. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this here. I'm going to make some happen. And then when this shit open back up, I don't even got to. Y'all can stay closed because I done created a whole new lifestyle right now. I did that as well. You feel me? So it's like before Corona, and it's why you got to just think it's everything is about a mindset mm -hmm. you have to use your mind and think about not only today but you have to think about the days ahead right you know what i'm saying so it's like it a lot of people took you know what i'm saying they took that time they took that money they had their feet kicked up they splurging a lot of people did that and they on their cameras and shit like complaining right. and shit right. like oh what's this so fucked up yeah. some people they took that time and they started re like my some people like myself. They took that time and they really sat there like, what do I really do well? Yeah. Or they got even a chance to play around more because you at home. You got time. You, got your time. Yeah. you have nothing but time. Yeah. They finna deposit you this check. Right. You got your family. Right. He's like music group. He's like apparel. We we're family business. Right. We're family businesses. Um. So it's like you have time, you have money, you a smart person will put it into their craft. That's what a smart person would do. Yeah. If it was really something that you was passionate about, that's right. what you would do with it. Right. And a lot of people really right. had that opportunity what? to do it. Man, you had time to really just you at home by yourself. Yeah. All your thoughts now. With all your thoughts. Yeah. All of that stuff yeah. that you've been saying yeah. you wanted yeah. to do. Man, it's it's your like, ass yeah, now. it's like, what's up? Yeah. It's like God yeah. was really like, all right, what you gonna it, do? If it was real, it ain't gonna never let you settle. Right. It ain't gonna let you settle. Right, exactly. You're just waiting on that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Your body wait on the opportunity, your mind wait on the opportunity, it's gonna come back up. Because it's always if I had time or yeah. if I had the money. There you go. There you go. So or God, I don't have time. God, something slow everything down. He stopped it. Yeah, I'm going to slow everything down for y'all. Now, it's up to you now. It's a, Now it's, it's all you. on you. Yeah, yeah. A real, it's only, a, it take a real special, it takes special type of people to look at it that way. Yeah. Like, okay, now it's all on me. Yeah. What am I going to do? Am I going to let this defeat me just like when we had the recession? Mm. Am I going to let this defeat me? Because it's always going to be something. Right. It's always going to be right. something. Am I gonna let this be? This is what's gonna take me out the game, or this was gonna put me in the motherfucking game. Yeah. yeah. So it's really all about mindset. It's all about mindset. How right. you see stuff and how you do stuff. Yeah. Everything is really a personal decision. It's really on you. The ball, yeah. your life is in your hand and God's hands. Go. But it's you. it's in your court. 
The ball is in your court. That's how you play it. What you do That's with it is it. on you. Yeah. I had, I had used that scenario. The ba- the ball is in your court. I say, now, it's up to you to put yourself in a certain position mm-hmm. in life. Now, that's basketball. You might not get the it's ball basketball. every time. Yeah. You might not get it every time. But long as you still fighting for a position, and when they do pass you the ball, come on, you man. You shine. Come on. Mm-hmm. Long as you fight for a position and practice and still thinking and thinking and thinking, when you, when that ball comes to you. Man, you going to take fouls. You gonna blow the whistle on you. Ticks. You gonna. It's gonna be better players yeah, coming. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be better players yeah. coming. You gotta be so confident in you and your exactly. position that it exactly. don't even matter what else is going and on. When that ball comes to you. When you get that ball. When God pass that bag to you. Yeah. Know what to do with it. Mm-hmm. Cause I feel like this is my own thought. It's opportunities come with it. I'm not going to give you $100,000 when you can't even take care of 20000 Right, right. I'm going to give you 10 to see how you're going to operate with that 10. Okay, you did a nice little job. I'm going to double that. 20. I'm going to give you 20. Okay, you making moves. Oh, I'm going I'm to give you something. I'm going to advance. I'm going to put you in a position to where now I want you to help other motherfuckers. You got a million dollars coming to you. That's where motherfuckers fuck up. Yeah, That's I heard they the story. They fall off. We watch them stories too. Yeah, they I don't fall know, off. so I always watch the come up stories. I watch the fall down stories yeah. too because it's very real. I don't watch a lot of people go from rich to being yeah. broke, and you always think when I get rich and I get that money, I'm gonna be straight forever. But it's like you have to think. You have to think. Yeah. You have to think. You have to think. How can I make it keep going? Mm. Because once you got it, I mean, you got it. Right. You can block. I know me, boy. I can spend some well, money. Can run money what? I can spend some money, man. I'm talking about. I can wake. I can go to sleep early to get up and spend some money. Right, right, right. <laughs> For real, right, you know I you finna get paid tomorrow. Look, let me go to sleep yeah, so I can go get up and ready. go get this check. Correct. Yep. Yeah. So it's like you just gotta. You really, really. Ultimately, you just have to have a plan, mm-hmm. and it's never too early or too late to start planning. Because you never really know. You never know. Let me ask you this. If you, I want you to look into the camera. And I want you to tell female to female. You talking to the Mm -hmm. young ladies out here that's looking at you. Tell them what it takes to make it. Not in the rap game, but life in general. It's harder. To me, I ask you that because... It's harder for a woman. It is. Saying, in life, not only just, you know how to rap. Yeah. From the way it's the really world just was built whatever. Up, it's, it's really just so whatever it is. So tell these sisters that's looking, they looking at you right now. They seeing this, this glow on you. They seeing these awards you winning. They seeing the steps you taking. And they wondering, man, how could I take these same steps? What I need to do? What would you tell them? I would tell them, I would tell, you know, my to the young ladies that are listening to me, I would tell y'all to be true to yourself. Mm-hmm. Most definitely, and I mean that in every aspect. Like, know who you are. Know that you are worth it. Mm-hmm. Know that you're worth everything that you have in your mind right. and that you think all those dreams that you have, all those aspirations, know that they're obtainable. If you work for them, know that you can do it. You can do it. I know it'll be a lot of people telling you that you can't do it, but listen to me tell you that you can do it. Mm -hmm. Because if that can't do it holds any weight, then I can do it. Hopefully it can hold hold some weight. Mm -hmm. Um, You beautiful, you loved, and love yourself. That way... That way, it doesn't matter who else loves you or who else love feels fake. Love yourself first and then still know that you're loved because I know a lot of us will go out looking for love or we're going through trying to find somebody to just love us. But if you love yourself first and you value yourself, then other people, like you say, it's the light. You have a light about yourself and people, they look into the light, you know what I'm saying? But 
um, you smart, you worthy. This is things that I would tell my daughter, right. uh, a young lady that you know what I'm saying that is growing up in this world because Watch this Watch world is it's not always easy. It's not always gonna be fun. Mm. It's not always gonna be you know exciting. It's gonna mm. be some days when you don't feel like doing it, yeah. but you gotta keep you gotta keep getting up. Anything right. that you want in life, you can have it if you work for it mm. and pray for it. Have you some kind some kind of relationship? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. It, it's a, it's obtainable, but you do have to work for it. Right. You do have to work for it because, you know, think about the way that you get it. The way that you get it can ultimately be the, le- be the way that you lose it. Correct. Correct. So, you know, yeah. As hard as you work, as hard as you work, that's how, how you want to... You want to reap your rewards. Yeah, you, you want... Gonna, you Just think of it as you get in what you put out. Exactly. So if you half assing, don't be surprised when you get some half ass results. Correct. But if you going hard, 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 not saying that you won't give half 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 ass results mm-hmm. because you still will. Right. Sometimes you will get no results. Right. This is just the realities. These are just the actual factuals. But you know, ultimately, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, the goal.